Companies that sell products in bulk usually have more complex and long-term sales agreements with their customers. In Microsoft Dynamics and AV, if you go to the Sales and Marketing Department and then to Order Processing, there you can see blanket sales orders which are used for agreements between a seller and a customer. A blanket order is typically made when a customer has committed to purchasing large quantities that are to be delivered in several smaller shipments over a certain period of time. A blanket sales order could be used, for example, if a customer places an order of 1,000 units of an item and he or she wants the items to be delivered in 250 units every week over the next month. You can show blanket sales orders from Microsoft Dynamics and AV in the Sana Web Store to your B2B customers and sales agents. A customer can log into the Web Store, go to the My Account page, and see all blanket sales orders available to him or her, and create an order based on the agreements that the customer has with the merchant. The blanket sales orders from Microsoft Dynamics and AV are shown to the B2B customers and sales agents on the My Sales Agreements page. To show sales agreements to your B2B customers, in Sana Admin go to Setup, Ordering and Checkout. On the Ordering tab, you must enable the option Sales Agreements. You can enable it and disable for B2B customers and sales agents. On the Sales Agreements page, the customer can see all available sales agreements that he or she has with the merchant. The customer can search for the sales agreement by its ID, see only active sales agreements, or those that are closed also meaning that they have been already completely fulfilled by the customer. The customer can see all the details of each sales agreement. There, the customer can see the sales agreement terms. These are the lines of the sales agreement where the customer can see the products that are in the agreement and their quantity commitment, product prices and discounts that the customer will get based on the agreements with the merchant and also remaining quantity shipped, released, and invoiced. All this information is taken from the blanket sales order in Microsoft Dynamics and AV. The customer can apply the sales agreement and add the necessary products of the required quantity from the sales agreement to the shopping cart. In the shopping cart, the customer can see the sales agreement that has been applied and the agreement terms for each sales line. Also, the customer can see the discount percentage for each sales line from the sales agreement. The customer can remove, change and view the details of the applied sales agreement directly in the shopping cart and change the agreement term for the sales line if there are different agreement terms for the same product. When the customer creates the order based on the sales agreement, SANA triggers all the terms and conditions of the blanket sales order in Microsoft Dynamics and AV. The prices and discounts that are set in the blanket sales order in NAV have higher priority and thus override other prices and discounts, for example, sales prices and sales line discounts. When the customer applies the sales agreement, then the available agreement terms will be also shown on the product details page of the product from the sales agreement. In this case, the customer can also select the necessary agreement term on the product details page and add the required quantity to the shopping cart. But the agreement term is shown on the product details page only when the customer applies the sales agreement. Customers can also combine the products from the sales agreements with those that do not relate to any agreement in one sales order. Now let's take a look briefly at the blanket sales order in Microsoft Dynamics and AV. When you create a blanket sales order in NAV, it is necessary to select a customer with whom you have sales agreements defined in the blanket sales order and to whom the items from this agreement will be shipped. 
When you enter the customer number, Microsoft Dynamics NAV will retrieve information about this customer from the customer card. On the Lines Pass tab, create separate lines for each sales agreement you have with your customer. For instance, if your customer wants 1,000 units of product split out equally between four weeks, you would enter four separate lines of 250 units each. You can fill in all other fields of the blanket sales order the way you need. For example, you can select the bill to customer and enter payment information. You can also select another shipping address. It will be used as a default shipping address of a customer. It will be shown in the header of a sales agreement in the Sana Web Store. The customer will be able to change it while placing an order based on the sales agreement. When the customer creates the order based on the sales agreement, the sales agreement and the agreement terms that have been applied to the order will be also shown in the order details. In Microsoft Dynamics NAV, there is the link between the sales order and the blanket order from which it was created. Here, for each sales order line, you can see the blanket order number and blanket order line number. When you post the sales order created from the blanket order as shipped and invoiced in Microsoft Dynamics NAV, the quantity shipped and quantity invoiced will be updated in the related blanket order in NAV. This information will be also updated in the sales agreement in the Sana Web Store. Thus, the customer can always see the up-to-date information about the sales agreement in the web store. When all agreements stated in the blanket sales order lines are completely fulfilled by the customer and all items are shipped to him or her, the blanket order will be closed and the customer will not be able to create another order based on the closed blanket order. More detailed information about sales agreements you can read on the SANA help site.